in the world. Stop. Can you see Janae's face? So what we got is big. I think I know what it is. Mustache. Mwah. Our new sod is looking amazing. The one problem is that every morning we're coming out here and some animal is pulling it up. It's either a deer or really big rabbits or squirrels, but they're pulling up the grass. So it's become a new chore for us every morning that we come out and roll the grass back down. Okay, it's super bright out today, but the weather is really nice. It's actually been nice for the last couple days, and so I'm going out on a morning run, and I just have been really enjoying my morning runs. I listen to uplifting things, and I get to move my body and breathe fresh air, and it just feels amazing. It's funny, when I'm not in the habit of running, it sounds like a chore. Like, I'm like, I don't wanna go running. But when I have it as part of my daily routine, I look forward to it, and so hopefully I can keep up this routine. How'd you sleep last night, Laura? Good. It's good to see you. Wanna go eat some eggs? Sure. All right, let's do it. Mimi, are you helping? Good job. You did it. How'd your egg turn out? Amazing. How was your egg, Laura? Amazing. What do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> Are you dizzy? You playing with your little sister? <laughs> we often find Isaac in playing with his siblings. <laughs> Did she headbutt you right there? Yeah. <laughs> so I got back from my run and everybody wants to join me on a walk. So we're going for round two. So what are you playing? Clue. You guys have been playing a lot the last day or two, huh? Yeah, we learned it yesterday and it's like all we've been playing. So let us know in the poll if you have played Clue before. I'm gonna go, I choose mustard with the gun. All right, Isaac just won, he guessed it. Yay. Good job. I'm playing. You guys wanna play again? Yeah. He'll ask for a glass of milk. I love milk. <laughs> I love you, and maybe what you could do is make your own milk mustache and send me a picture of you in your own milk mustache. I love y'all. Have a great day. Bye. What was that? It was Papa reading us a story. Can we hear it again, please, please? Sure. I'm gonna make my own milk mustache. You're gonna make your own milk mustache to show me, Papa? Me too. I love that Papa is deliberately trained to connect with the kids in creative ways. They have their milk mustaches. Hi, Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> Yours is huge. <laughs> no, I like it upside down. Hello. All right, Nene's mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is so small. Mine looks weirder than I thought. Cubby decided to make one too. It's small. Mm. Mustache. Mwah. Go down! <laughs> again, again. <laughs> <laughs> we have not gotten bored of this toy. She just keeps going. She's working hard. Take a breather. Good job. Whoa! <laughs> 
she's not phased. She's going again. So we used to have couches down in our basement, but they were really big and kind of broken and they didn't fit for what we were wanting to do down there. So we got rid of them a couple years ago and since then, we've had no furniture in the basement, but we've really missed having a place to, you know, cozy up and read down there. So we finally decided on what we want down there and we bought it and we're getting it today. Is it at our house? It is at our house. So will do we, we have to set it up? I don't know, let's, let's go see. Go set it up. So what we got is big and it arrived. Our new furniture. I thought you said it was big. What are you thinking? Thinking that we either got one small thing or we have to assemble it. This is going to be our new furniture. This box contains everything that we got. All right, who wants to help me? Me, me. So you guys are gonna help me open it up. Okay, what is this? This is heavy. Doesn't lift it out. What is this thing? It might be a cushion, just oh, one cushion. Guys, look, it unzips. I think I know what it is. Is it like a blow up thingy that you sit on? It's gonna expand. What does expand mean? It means it's gonna get bigger. Here we go. The kids are standing back. So they compressed it. What in the world? This is the inner part. Aha! So here's the ottoman. And that is what we purchased. <laughs> What's an ottoman? An ottoman Whoa. is something to rest your feet on. Whoa. Look! It's not even a square. So guys, you roll it around. Roll! <laughs> this whoa. is fun! Roll! <laughs> oh, whoa, this thing is huge! Oh, so is it a bean bag? It's like a huge five foot bean bag. <gasps> it's called a comfy sack. Basketball? <laughs> Oh, and if you oh, did you find another one? Ah. My turn. So they say it's gonna be like three feet tall. Hey, watch out. They said it might take four days to actually expand to its full size. But we can hurry it up by moving it around. Yeah, get this thing Wait, so this thing's gonna end about how tall I am? Yep, they said it's gonna be about three feet tall. So here's the actual cover. Put it in. Your side, Lucy? Yeah. Like I like the color. Better. Yeah, I do too. How do you feel? How's the material feel? Nice. Really nice. Good night, everybody. Oh, it's nap time. How about we put this thing on? <laughs> <laughs> So that's where we were wanting to put it, was over in that corner. What I was looking for was a spot that you guys might like to read. Do you think you guys would like to read down oh, This is gonna be my main reading spot. So one of the things that sold us on this comfy sack is that it's supposed to be indestructible. Apparently the kids want to test that theory. We watched a video of a tank driving over it. And it didn't destroy it. So we're hoping our kids can't destroy it. <laughs> And this isn't sponsored. We just found the product and decided to get it. I just walked downstairs to the scene and it makes me so happy. I want to like evil laugh, like Bwahaha. my evil plan is working. I've been lately being like, kids, go down in the basement. And they weren't really wanting to. And Jeremy, I realized it was because it wasn't set up in a super user-friendly way. Like I didn't want to hang out in the basement. So now that we have something in the basement, they want to be in the basement. And now that we have something in the patio, they want to play on the deck. Yes. Let's see what you guys are reading. I'm reading Mercy Watson. I'm reading The Candy Shop War. I don't know what I'm reading, but I'm just reading. <laughs> <laughs> Truer words have never been spoken. <laughs> I'm reading Maple Ridge Lost in the Blizzard. Lisey's helping me gas up. Please remove nozzle. Good job. Then you're gonna hit this button. We want the cheapest one. There you go. It's fueling. Look, you can see. Here's the amount. How many gallons? And look, there's a neat little trick. You can stick this part down. Okay, now let go. <laughs> cool, huh? Does it stop? Yep, it just automatically stops. But how did gas come here? Trucks, they drive the gas and they fill up their tanks underground. Well, those are some really good questions. 
What are we looking for? A bike. A new bike. Elisa's bike right now is about the size of Caleb's. Yep. That's a big bike. You want that one? No. This is exactly what I wanted. This? You want a basket? Yes. Tassels and everything. Whoa. Is it too small for you or is it just right? Oh. You okay? There you go. The handles are a bit weird. They're kind of angled funny, huh? But I like the basket. Okay, let's see what else they got. Elisa's consulting with Kendra about this yeah. mountain bike. Elisa's never done the gears well, and the brakes up here. So we're watching some of our friends' kids this afternoon. So we have an extra two-year-old and two-month-old over, and the kids are so excited to help. Janae wants to hold her nonstop. Can you see Janae's face? Uh, yeah. At first we thought that Janae was crying because I was holding a different baby. Uh, no, Janae was crying because she wants to hold the baby. Yeah. Is that a baby? Yeah. Hi. Yeah, hi. Oh. Hello. Hi, baby. Oh, the hiccups are so cute. Hi. Is it nice to be away? Well, we had a fun play date, but now it's time to take these cute girls home. Hi. Thanks for coming to play at our house. Ah, look at that grin. It was fun to have our friends, two little girls, here this afternoon. It was sweet to watch the kids interact with them and kind of comical to watch Janae trying to share and not really knowing what to do with having other babies in the area. But it was cute. I was feeding the baby a bottle and Elise came and said, Mom, how do you know how to do that? And I'm like, I know you haven't seen me do this recently, but I, I have raised five children here. It was just sweet and made for a fun afternoon and busy. Seven kids is a lot of kids. Laura was super doting and motherly. Elise was so cute with the babies and the boys were all just completely sweet with them. So, Janae was a little bit harder. It was hard for her to share. She's used to being the baby around here, so it was really sweet to have a little baby in the house again. Hi. Yeah. Are you okay? So how has it been going learning to ride on your new bike? Awesome. So at first, it was a struggle. Mom said you actually fell. I fell, but then I kept trying. Well, I'm really proud of you for being brave. Do you guys want to ride around the block? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Good job. Yesterday, Elise wanted to make homemade applesauce all by herself, mm -hmm. and she did. She peeled the apples, she chopped them up, she put in all of the stuff and cooked it on the stove. Here is We're her having leftovers for homemade applesauce. She even put it in a jar. This is the real deal. Yeah, she did it all by herself. I'm so proud of her. So Janae has started singing to us regularly. The family sits around and watches her. We clap occasionally. Oh, baby Janae. <laughs> she can just lay there and sing to you. Good night, Jay. How's up? Hey guys, my favorite book, as you can see, is named Ugly. The author is Robert Hodge. This book is very similar to the book Wonder, but for my opinion, it might be better. I'm Edward from the UK, and this book has helped me through a lot more in life as it explains a boy who is going through a traumatic lifestyle not having his parents around and he goes through an adventure to go find his parents in the far future and it's just amazing. Hi, my name is Haley. My favorite book is The Miscalculations of Lightning Girl by Stacey McAnley. I really think Elise would like this book. My name is Emily Roper from Birmingham, Alabama and my favorite book is The Princess in Black and I like it because there is a horse named Blackie in it, and it involves a princess named Princess Magnolia. Jay, how's that?